Okay, here we are for customer service. Now, this is something I'm very, very serious about. Now, I'm getting very irritated with all the people I've been using with lately. All right, let's start with the local places. First of all, the Toy Vault, I gotta say, has been crap. It hasn't been good. Every time you go there now, they don't even offer to really help you with an item that you're looking for. We went to the same location like four or five times to see if they're going to have this Godmother's Mika figure from Elisa. Elisa Maza, detective, right? Uh, well, she wasn't there. She, um, every, every other Godmother's thing was there. Even the new Lexington that came out, what was it, a couple months ago, whenever it came out. But it just showed up in the store. Yeah, I found it there yesterday. I got that one. But I can't find the Elisa one, and we kept going back there because I think it was there at one time, and then they sold out of it, and then they never stocked back up. They, you know, the people can't help us and say, "All right, well, we'll go look in the store and see if it's there." Nope, they said we don't do that. Since when has any store ever not called another store to see if they have something? Now they don't do that in stores like Target, or uh, they'll use it looking up on the computer usually. They don't, but even in Target, they do that technically, not by phone, but they do it by computer. In stock of the availability on their website. Or Walmart will probably do the same thing. But a place like this that's selling collectibles, like a small place that has what? I think three to four locations, maybe five. They can't call another store to see if they have a product. I remember when KB, KB Stores was around back in the day. Four computer systems and websites were big. What they would do is, is they would call each store to see if they had something. Th that was customer service. They won't do that this way. And that's what makes them pretty shitty. The time capsule's been really good lately after I had that debacle uh, with, um, they won with, um, the, la the laser discs. I'm still disappointed in them for that. I wish they would, um, own up to it a little because you can't possibly check laser discs within one or two days and take them back, especially if you buy like 10 or more like I did. I think I bought like 20 at one point. Um, so that that's a pain in the ass, but customer service doesn't exist. And when you go on the computer, there's absolutely no customer service at all. Usually when you buy something from eBay, no one says nothing. I do get the occasional person that throws a thank you into the item when you buy it. When you open it up, you get a thank you card. Some people do a personal one with their own, with their own handwriting. Some people just do the generic one with a packing slip. You know, what you're supposed to do, which most people don't on eBay, is you're supposed to um, put the packing slip in the box when you ship it out to somebody. So if it gets lost, people will know where to send it. Because the post office is too dumb. Even though your name and everything is on the box, how could they not know where to send it, right? Well, if it's in the boat, yeah, you get my you get my drift. So, um, customer service is lacking, and you know I'm very very disappointed. I think what we need to do is is we need to treat customers a little better. And I know since the pandemic hit, people are going to use that as an excuse, but it's really something that doesn't require any extra people, or extra money. It just requires somebody that works at the store or the online store. To look at the person for a second and say, do you need help? Can I make a phone call on your behalf? That's something stores should be doing. They don't do it anymore. And therefore, they lose a lot of service and money. Not service. Yeah, they lose a lot. Not a service. Some what do I mean. They lose a lot of um, customers because of that. You know, if you get bad customer service, then people aren't going to show up anymore. And for the places like the Toy Vault, I hate to say this, but it's true. They stocked up their store with a lot of discounted toys they bought from places like KB Toys and stuff like that, which is pretty shitty. They're jacking up the price and everything that they, that they bought for like a couple of bucks probably a piece, if anything. And then they're, now they're selling it for like $10, $15. Like that's pretty bad if you ask me. And I, any company is going to do that as a collectible store, but you know, that's just, that's shitty. And I think that, you know, like when you, if you want to sell it, at least take the sticker off the box. I know that's going to take a long time. But have someone there take all this, the price tags off of it. But then they don't, and they don't even want to sell half the things. What they do is, is they, they buy them just to fill up the store to make it look good. Because if they just kept all the stuff they were going to sell, the store wouldn't be full. It would be very empty.
All right, that's it. Bye-bye.